Just a beautiful morning in Tuscaloosa, kicking off the final leg of the flag relay for the World Games. Uh, this has been going on since May, uh, making it all the way to central Alabama, heading into the opening ceremonies of the World Game tomorrow, and we're excited to be a part of this relay today. Yeah, kicked off a May 25th, 44-day journey from Washington, D.C., all the way to Birmingham, Alabama, just in time for the World Games, all to support our military men and women, our veterans. Um, and this journey has been walking and running and rucking and cycling and pushing and a little bit of everything um, throughout this stretch of time. Standing here with uh, Lonnie and Amanda from Team Red, White and Blue. What has this all been about? So Team RWB focuses on enriching veterans' lives, and the Old Glory Relay is our opportunity to display and tell veterans that their best days ahead are ahead with a strong focus on health and wellness. Um, we have organizations or chap what we call chapters all across the country, and they host in-person events, focus on fitness, health people purpose really. Um, so fitness, social um, gatherings, and also service events. Okay, we're here today. Obviously, uh, we're finishing up this final stretch heading into Birmingham, but take me back a little bit to the beginning and, and what this journey has kind of been like. The journey has been amazing. It started in DC on May 25th and it's gone through 15 states. We've had local support from every state and every, every little city we've gone through. And so it's about probably 3,200 miles that we've gone or getting ready to finish up here. And we're just super excited to end at the World Games um, to kick that off. Yeah, we're so excited too. What does it feel like to, to be finally here in Birmingham? It's exciting. I know a ton of hard work goes into putting this event on every year. Um, in previous years, we, we've gone coast to coast and we were really honored to be invited by the World Games. So I think it's just a collective team effort through our volunteers and everybody in the communities that have shown up to participate and also the staff of Team Red, White and Blue. So we're just really proud and excited to be a part of it. And the reaction to people seeing the flag kind of running on the streets? Oh, we so get good. honks and waves and uh, sometimes startling for the cyclists, <laughs> but people have been really appreciative and just um, knowing that everything that veterans um, give and serve and sacrifice for our nation, I think that um, it's always a welcoming experience uh, across the country. So. And I know Ian and I both love Team Red, White and Blue, our Birmingham chapter. We've done quite a few things. And it's just exciting to be a part of this today and exciting as we head into the World Games. We've talked about this for years. Of course, the pandemic pushed the games back a year. So to be here uh, the day before the opening ceremonies, it's going to be exciting to see that flag uh, taken into the stadium tomorrow night. So thank you guys so much this Absolutely. morning.